can you see? See the disc do it normally and as soon as I put my hands in the pockets, it comes out. This is a jumper that I am going to be refashioning. Um, I've had it a while. It's my own personal jumper. I was going to give it to a charity shop. I um, decided not to. Um, basically because I thought I was going to do this video. <laughs> Maybe that's my thinking at the time. Well, it wasn't actually. Because um, I do give one or two items per year to the charity shop. But anyway, I love the, the, the colour of this red. And it's it's still got a lot of life left in it. It just needs upcycling, doesn't it? So... It is semi-fitted. And the sleeves are short, so I'm going to be adding some of that fabric kit and into this sleeve. And I'll show you what else I'm going to be doing with it as well, which is so gorgeous. But before I tell you about that, the curtains it's lovely I, I do like the red it's almost a very similar hue to the one in the jumper you know it's a good match but there's some damage to the tape um, not on all see that side there isn't and there there is and I had to repair that before I can start the project so all i'm going to do really is just to unpick there put a piece of fabric behind this and then zigzag that zigzag that closed and it should be okay because i don't want to cut it away i mean that is another option but if i cut it away then i'm going to have more waste than i would like and i want as much of this as possible the reason being is that it just creates this gorgeous gorgeous gathering effect that I just want as much of it as possible so let me show you and I'll bring the camera down so that I can show you that effect so there's a the curtain tape and if I pull the strings what happens there oh it's so gorgeous that's so pretty isn't it And so I want that to be at the bottom of the jumper. Right, so that looks so pretty. So all that will be all gathered. And then I want to unpick the side seams to the jumper and also the sleeve as well. I was going to be adding some of this to lengthen the sleeve because the sleeves do need lengthening. And um, I'm going to be making a sleeve, a pair of sleeves with gathers at the front. So I want to unpick the top of the sleeve here and hopefully have the gathers poking through. <laughs> um, it's a bit of an ambitious project, but let's see how we go. So the first thing, I'll bring the camera up. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is repair the tape so that I've got as much gather as pos possible. And then when I've done that, it will, oh yeah, let me tell you about the curtain tapes as well. But, uh, I mean, the tie backs, there's one that's got a bit of, yeah, I'm gonna have to repair that as well. Um, but I want the curtain tapes to be part of it as well. So, put that to one side. Where was I? Oh, I was talking about the curtains wasn't nice. So the first thing I need to do is to repair the curtain tape and then I will be in a position to cut the bottom of the curtain or the top of the curtain, whichever way you look at it, in order to have that beautiful gathering effect to the hemline of this jumper. But I like a, I would also like this side to be part of the side of the jumper so it looked like this you know you've got the frill there and then you've got this at the side um 
yeah let's just see how it goes <laughs> i hope it will work and i've also got my pattern that's my sleeve pattern that if you don't have a pattern that allows for um, gathers at the shoulder at the top of the sleeve i do have a video tutorial i do believe on how to create that puff sleeve head so um i'll link that below um is there anything else no i think that's it so let's get to repairing the curtains and then unpicking the seams of both sides of the jumper and also the sleeves and then we'll come back to the curtains I have opened all the seams, the side seam, the sleeves, and then it's ready for the curtains to be inserted and the shoulders as well. So that is now ready. I'll put that to one side and then concentrate on the curtains. It's now time for me to repair the curtain tape. So I've just unpicked the top part here, kept that one attached. Got some fabric, I'm going to put that on the inside. Just cut it off. Put on the inside like so. I'm going to get some pins and just place them diagonally into position. That will help to keep it closed when I come to do a zigzag stitch. one more in here and then we're going to take to my sewing machine. prepared the tape, I've zigzagged that into position, I've done it on all sides. Now that that is done, so the next step is going to be for me to decide where I'm going to cut a straight line across so this part could be added to the jumper. Let's see. About there, I think. Probably think about there. I'll cut it. Just want to give my some give myself some room to play with, so that I don't have less than what I need. Right, because I don't want to put it on the edge here. I want it to come from underneath. So probably here. Perhaps, okay, I'm going to cut a straight line. Just follow the line in, in the gingham and just cut it all the way around and do that to both of the curtains. So that's what I'm going to do next. Now that the jumper is prepped, I'm going to cut the sleeves first. Just pull my button. I folded it one curtain in half. So I've cut all the way around the pattern. 
Let's take these away. Oh, make sure I do my notches. Yeah, on the top of the sleeve. Okay. So I just need to sew it up. I'm going to be using a French seam on the edges. So this is what I'm left with. So basically I've just got that. So I'm going to be using about half of this, maybe even less than half. And I'm going to be using this section here in this side seam. So that's what we're going to focus on next. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is to cut out the bottom of the of the curtain that's going to go on the bottom up here but I also want this to be in the side seam so I'm going to have to cut an L shape so that comes to about there I'll put it about here yeah I think that's where I'll, I'll stop let me just get my pins Okay, so what I'll do is I want that amount to be shown from under the jumper but I also want this strip here to be into the side seam so I'm going to give myself some playroom here so I'm going to go here and cut here and I'm going to create like an L shape so I want a little bit coming from here so I don't want to attach it at the bottom of the actual because all that will do is will spread this and it won't look very I'm assuming it wouldn't look very aesthetically pleasing so yeah I want it to um yeah as so it's looking as though it's coming from the inside rather than being attached to it so Maybe if it came about here, I'm going to put a pin here. Okay, I'll put that to one side for one moment. So I'm going to cut all the way along here, stop here, then come up to here, then stop here. So the next step after that, bear with me while I think this through, is that I'm going to cut along this line here. So I cut that way, then I'm going to come up to here and then cut across there. Yeah, that will be the best way, isn't it? Because I want an L shape because this is going to go into the side, that's going to go to the bottom right okay yeah I've got it it's going to start cutting I'm actually going to start cutting from here and this one Okay, I've finished cutting out. Let me just show you quickly what's left. So there's literally quite a lot, isn't there? I mean, that's hardly been cut into apart from taking off the tape section. So there's quite a lot there that could be added to another project. And the sleeves came out of this section. That's why there is less of it. No, they could still be using the project. Okay, so now we have this. So this is the shape you will have. I 
looks cute. Can you see that? That's a shape. Let me just bring that all together like that. Okay. So let's draw these up. Them all together. Oh, yes. This is what you want. That is so pretty, isn't it? And pull from the other side as well. That is so cute. So it's all about just getting this all even. Yes. And then release. It should look really pretty at the bottom of this jumper. Let's get the jumper. Oh yeah, that looks pretty. Yeah, so it's then the case of just evening these out because this is the effect that I want. So it's going to be here because with this, with the knit, can you see how it's starting to curl over? which it naturally does that's what it that's a characteristic of working with knits it folds in on itself so by placing that at the side seams yes it's going to be cute right so what i need to do i need to turn it this way so i can evenly dis distribute these tiny little pleats. Yeah, that's roughly about it. So yeah, that looks pretty, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to measure this out to make sure that I've got the right amount of pleating here. Comes all the way to that effect. So it's all nicely pleated from this point all the way across to this point. And then this is going to be the side seam. And do the same for the other side. Um, I'm going to baste. What's going to happen is that it's making sure that I keep these folds, isn't it? You know, like how they are now. In this kind of dome shape. So, yeah, it will be a case of then binding this with the leftover fabric pieces because that's what they are now and then sewing these onto the side seam okay so let's do that first to both and then I'll base in position and I'll show you the next step I am now happy with the placements of these pretty pleats they look so gorgeous and this is how they are going to sit And this is going to be the side seams. So all I did was tie the ends and then just arrange them. So I'll show you with this one. Just pull it like so. And do the same on the other side. And 
and it's using this as a guide. And then what I do then is just tie one end like so. And then Okay, and I'll give this some thought. I'm going to put a gathering stitch along here on this edge. So I'm going to, I will just cut into there diagonally like so. So that will enable me to turn that back and then I can neaten that raw edge. And then I've got this raw edge in which to play with once I put in the gathering stitch and do the same on that side. And also the same on the other one. And then I'll come back to you so you can see what it looks like. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for upcycling fashion. If you are into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Remember to click the bell in order to receive notifications. Not only that, I'm on the Patreon platform. Details to that are in the description. Do check them out. Let's get back to the video. So this is where I'm up to, is that I have done a double fold to the inner edge and also the sides. So they'll go on the side seam here and I've just done one row of gathering stitch. I'm hoping that's going to be enough so I'm just going to pull Just playing around until we get the right balance between what's happening here and what's happening at the top here. So I'll keep playing around with that. So this is going to be the right side so that you can see. And then it will be a case of getting the jump like so. I'm placing that on top. That is going to be gorgeous. Okay, so I'm just going to work on the gathers and then I'm going to hand sew and I'll come back to you and show you what I've done. Okay, it's going really well at the moment. I'm quite pleased with the way it's going. It's getting really late now, so I've got some hand sewing to do. So I'm going to do a bit of that while watching a bit of TV. And then I'll come back to you tomorrow. Because remember, we've still got the sleeves that we need to insert. So this project is going to be longer than, yeah, than I anticipated. May as well be honest about it. <laughs> um, I think it's because really, it's a lot of hand sewing that's involved. But I'm just hoping that the results are going to be amazing. Um, yeah, I, I think the work that it, it will be because I'm quite fascinated to see how the curtain tape really interacts with the garment as I wear it. So um, I'll give you feedback on that once I've actually worn it as well. So just remember to keep watching my channel for my outfits of the week, which I do on a Friday. Hello, it's the following day. Um, there's been a lot of hand sewing. It really has taken me quite a long time in order to do the hand sewing. I'm not as fast as what I used to be. Um, not that that is an excuse, but um, yeah, there's a lot more hands. There's a lot of hand sewing involved in this, but I, th I do think that it will produce the amazing results that I'm looking for. Hand sewing does that anyway. Um, so yeah, so I have hand sewn the bottom. And the sides 
and the back there so I still got the sleeves to do so this video is going to be in two parts so I'm going to try this on now and then I'm going to end this video once I've tried it on and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the sleeves because the sleeves are going to involve some hand sewing as well maybe not as much I don't think no it shouldn't be it shouldn't be as long a process as it was sewing this on um, but there's still going to be hand sewing that is involved in that but I'm not really sure about how I want the sleeves to actually sit as well so together we are going to experiment and see what and, and see how it goes basically that's all I can say is just to see how it goes and um, but keep watching because after this video is going to be the sleeve section so let's go and try this on now and let's see what it looks like and let's see if there's any I think I need to change after all the hours of, yes, I did say hours of hand sewing, um, whether I need to change anything. I just have to take out the base and stitching as well, that's all. I need to do that. But this is more or less finished. I just need to focus on the sleeves. Put my arms through the sleeves. Oh, there is left the sleeves. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that looks nice. Oh, I like that. Oh, yes. The same on that side. Oh. <gasps> That is looking cute. Oh, let me bring you down so you can have a good look. Oh, look at that. That is cute. And then you've got the side and he's pressing. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, that looks gorgeous. It really does, doesn't it? Let me show you the side. On the other side, just needs to be steamed a bit more, and the and the back. <laughs> yeah, that looks. I'm I am happy. It's been it's worth it. That is that is lovely. to designing and construction is that because I have that creative mindset anyway that's the advantage and because I've been designing and sewing and patterning for decades it's you kind of have an idea that something will work but sometimes it's also about the fabrics that you're using and as I'm standing here talking to you it's also about playing around with the idea that you want to create but when it comes to fashion, refashioning or upcycling fashion you do have to put yourself in a different mindset um, but I am happy with the progress that I'm making with my refashioning projects and as I'm standing here now with my hands in my pockets I know you can't see this right now it's even more gorgeous because and and this is what i mean i didn't have this vision when i was thinking about this as i'm putting my hands in my pocket i now can see um the gingham hang um at the sides when i put my hands in the pocket <gasps> and i'm a pocket girl i love pockets i'm gonna show you now can you see you could just do it normally and it seems to put my hands in the 
pocket. It comes out. It shows. I can't wait to see it now. Okay, the sleeves are next. I'm going to try and see if I could be more elaborate with the sleeves. I don't know. You shall see. You're going to have to watch the next video in order to find out what I do with the sleeves. But this is cute. If you enjoyed this video, then please watch the second one to this. If you have any comments or queries, then please put those in the comment box below. Remember, I'm on the Patreon platform also. Is there anything else I need to tell you? No, just enjoy your hand sewing. Get practicing your hand sewing because it can produce amazing results. And I will see you next time. And thank you for watching.